Hello, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, members of Council, Adam Smith, City Manager's Office here with a presentation on the American Rescue Plan selection of investments. The recommendation is that the City Council begins making final decisions on the American Rescue Plan or ARPA investments. Staff recommends that the City Council makes Tranche 1 investment decisions and as many Tranche 2 investment decisions as the City Council deems appropriate. If the City Council does not decide on investment decisions totaling $59,540,662, the City Council can decide on the balance at a later date. And ARPA costs must be incurred or encumbered by December 31st, 2024, and all projects must be completed by December 31st, 2026, which is a date that we will return to in this presentation. A little bit of background. Um, ARPA started uh, when President Biden signed the American Rescue Plan Act into law back in March of 2021. As part of ARPA, the city of Oxnard was allocated $59 million in ARPA funding from the United States Treasury, of which half of that amount, which was about $29.7 million, was received by the city in May of 2021. The remaining $29.7 million is expected um, in May 2022. That payment is known as Tranche 2, and the one that we received in May 2021 is known as Tranche 1. And it should be, it's, been, it's very important to note that this funding is a truly unique and rare opportunity for the community as the community works to um, recover and respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. The initial um, ARPA investment ideas that was presented to the committees back in July and council in July was developed with consideration to um, city council priorities, alternative paths or expected funding to address the economic impact or to implement the project, meeting the unique needs of our communities and population. Um, if the project can be implemented in the rural time frame, again, December 2024 for uh, for the projects to be encumbered and 2026, December 31st, 2026 for the projects to be completed. Also looked at the return of investment on the project. Uh, extremely important that it be a one-time cost, no ongoing um, expenses as the ARPA funds are one-time in nature. So the city council and the public have provided input um, on the ARPA investment uh, list at all three of the July 13th council committee meetings. Again, at the July 29th city council meeting and on August 4th at the Interneighborhood Council Organization meeting. And from these discussions, the following themes emerged. Um, the use of the funds should be on one-time expenditures, prioritize the projects, um, that have no other secured funding sources and projects should be focused on those that have immediate as well as lasting impacts for the community. So the, um, the, preliminary, ARPA, the preliminary ARPA investment ideas list, which is attached to the staff report, is organized and sorted in the following manner. One, decisions the, the council has already made. Those are the three projects that are shaded in green, orange, and yellow at the very top of the investment ideas list. Those total about 5.1 million. Then the project, uh, the list is organized by the ARPA's six broad categories, which I'll go into a little bit later in the presentation. Third, they're sorted within each ARPA category by those with potential funding sources. Then fourth, they're sorted by either tranche one or tranche two, based on how quickly staff can deliver the program or the project um, within the community. Five projects in blue were added by council at the July 13th or July 29th meetings, and those projects total 10 million. Then there's projects in green, which are staff's final recommended projects, um, which do not exceed the total um, city allotment that we've received from the US Treasury of 59 million. That um, adds up to approximately 41 million. And lastly, projects in black are all the other projects from the original um, July 13th uh, preliminary ARPA investment ideas list, which totals uh, approximately 32 million. So it's important to note that these projects that we're going to be funding with ARPA money um, will delay many of the city's currently funded projects. 
And that's because of two main factors. One, there's constraints within the existing city resources, especially in the engineering division. And two, as I mentioned previously, ARPA costs must be incurred or encumbered by December 31st, 2024, and projects must be completed by December 31st, 2026. So it's a tight timeline to complete um, a lot of projects. But make no mistake about it, it's, this is a good problem to have. Every dollar that ARPA affords us is an unexpected additive contribution to our efforts to recover from the pandemic. So the below list summarizes the combination of the July 13th and July 29th um, comments from the council members on the draft preliminary ARPA investment ideas list, which was one, reorder the preliminary ARPA list to group the projects that are eligible for other sources of funding, which is competitive or secured. Two, projects should be prioritized based on city council's five-year priorities and, and park improvements. Three, concentrate ARPA funding in the 93030 and 93033 zip codes in the city. Four, need for further discussion and explanation on the premium pay for city employees category of ARPA. Five, add Pleasant Valley Park repair and playground replacement as a new project for consideration. Six, add shade structures and parks as a new project for consideration. Seven, add a bike or pedestrian path on top of the Santa Clara River levee, CR3, as a new project. Eight, add painting of curbs next to fire hydrants red. Add painting of curbs red next to fire hydrants red, excuse me, and enforcing parking violations for illegally parked vehicles as a new project. Nine, add a safe sleep program as a new project. Ten, at the Carnegie Museum Seismic Study as a new project. And 11, add an additional contactless payment kiosk for utility payments as a new project for consideration. The following table represents the um, new projects for consideration. Um, they're the respective line number in the ARPA investment list spreadsheet and then the total amount. So the Safe Sleep Program uh, for the capital improvements which is line four, costs about 700,000. Then there's ongoing costs with the Safe Sleep Program, administrative costs, uh, line five, 500,000. The Carnegie Museum Architectural and Seismic Study, line six, 160,000. Then there's seed money for park repair, replacement, and consideration of all access equipment. Um, staff will determine the specific park locations based on safety and need, line seven for $3 million. There's seed money for 10 park playground shade structures, and the specific park locations will be based on the parks receiving replacing the playground equipment, line eight, for $1 million. The Pleasant Valley Park project for the repair and replacement of playground equipment, line nine, $600,000. Citywide painting of the curbs, uh, line 51, $250,000. The uh, bike path um, on top of the SCR3 levy, line 52 for 3.8 million. And then finally, the uh, additional contactless payment kiosk, line 60 for 80,000. These uh, total additions by um, city council members total about $10 million of ARPA funding. Uh, staff also made some changes based on the list. Um, Saviors Road Corridor, it was previously line 13, now it's line 15. Um, the project is for concept plans only, although the cost is remains unchanged. The previous version um, had two projects combined. Uh, the second one is the Saviors Road Corridor, uh, now line 16, created a $100,000 standalone project for the formation of a South Oxnard property business improvement district. This was previously listed with the project above. Uh, three is PPE, personal protective equipment for city staff. Uh, we increased the cost of that from 85,000 to 160,000, just based on the uncertainty with the COVID-19 pandemic and the Delta variant and uh, any unknown other variants that might be coming in the future. Uh, the fourth item was the fire department supplied air respirators and radios. That uh, staff reduced that line item from 2.2 million to 1.7 due to updated costs for the respirators, as well as some uh, partial grant funding the fire department received for the radios. And the last three broadband uh, are broadband projects 
all were moved to the appendix of the ARPA list mainly due to um, there's alternative or alternative competitive funding sources and application sources. And um, these three broadband projects are unlikely to finish in the required timeline that ARPA sets out, which is December 31st, 2026. To summarize the six broad categories that ARPA uh, provides, um, there's support public health response, which we have 11. Uh, projects proposed for 7.8 million, replacing public sector revenue loss. We have nine projects proposed, 12.6 million. Water and sewer infrastructure, 13 projects proposed, 4.7 million. Addressing negative economic impacts, 47 projects proposed, 57.4 million. Premium pay for essential workers, two projects proposed, 4.5 million. And then finally, two broadband infrastructure projects for 692,000 which leaves us with 87,000 or 87,839,200 total ARPA projects on our list, which leaves a variance with when you subtract the total amount available of 28.3 million. It was, uh, it's important to note that during the course of the public meetings that we um, conducted, there was a lot of support for um, ARPA park improvement projects. Um, outside of ARPA funding, um, this fiscal year, 21-22, there's approximately $7.3 million budgeted for playground equipment, uh, replacement and enhance enhancements, as well as an additional $300,000 budgeted for park repairs all coming this fiscal year. Staff is currently working on prioritizing the parks that will receive repairs based on the limited budget, staff, con staff constraints, safety, and need. Um, Back to the ARPA park related projects, those total approximately 35 million, of which 11.3 million is included as a final recommendation by staff. Another consideration with park related projects, which will impact the cost of um, park improvements going forward, is the discussion surrounding all inclusive play areas. Because costs associated with inclusive play areas are greater than the current parks budgets and the cost listed on the ARPA investment list. Staff will be bringing a policy discussion to the council committee this fall on the topic. The interim final rule, this is the rule that dictates um, how ARPA funds can be um, spend down. Now the US Treasury did something um, unique in that when they um, issue, when they submitted um, or paid out ARPA funds to state and local governments, they did so with an interim final rule um, with a final rule pending. That um, final rule we're expecting any day now. However, at the time of publishing this agenda, the US Treasury had not released the final rule on the ARPA program. So in the event that projects selected by council don't align with the Treasury's final rule, staff will come back before city council with project options. The financial impact, um, again, the city's been allocated 59.5 million in ARPA funding from the US Treasury. We have received half, 29.7 million in May 2021, tranche one, and the remaining 29.7 million is expected in May 2022, tranche two. Again, ARPA costs must be incurred or encumbered by December 31st, 2024, and all projects must be completed by December 31st, 2026. A project number will be assigned to each specific project selected for investment for tracking and federal reporting purposes. Staff will then return to council for budget appropriations for investment projects. We end where we began with the recommendation that the city council begin making the final decisions on ARPA investments. Staff recommends that council makes tranche one investment decisions and as many tranche two investment decisions as the council deems appropriate. If the council doesn't decide on investment decisions totaling 59.5 million, the council can always decide on the balance at a later date. And again, ARPA costs must be incurred or encumbered by December 31st, 2024, and all projects must be completed by December 31st, 2026. That concludes my presentation. Thank you.